Welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract in a seven year old child having diabetes. Let us see the surgery. The main incision is made just behind the limbus, that is, on the sclera. And now, two side ports are made in this case. This is a side port at 8 o'clock, another side port at 2 o'clock. An air bubble is injected, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule, the dye is washed out. This is adrenaline. With the help of this 23G Simco, the dye is washed out. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose has been applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now I could not make a puncture on the anterior capsule with the uterata forceps. In pediatric cataracts, it is really difficult. So I have to take a sharp needle and cut and make a capsular tag, guide this capsular tag all around and do Rxs which is about 5.5 millimeter in size. Beat of hydrodissection is done. Visco. And now I take the hand piece. We don't need any ultrasonic energy in this case. Just have to aspirate this lens matter. The FECO needle goes in with its bevel down. The lens matter is aspirated. It takes only few seconds to do the aspiration. And now SPMC is injected into the capsular bag and the anterior chamber. The patient is under general anesthesia, but the patient is moving his head occasionally. I'm using a 23G Simco cannula to remove the cortex. At this moment, uh, I have changed the Simco. Now, I just have to hold and pull it out of the anterior chamber and flash out. Sometimes the cortex is like that, we cannot, you know, cannot aspirate, just have to hold it, come out and flash out. And now uh, the side ports are really small and I am using the bimanual irrigation aspiration for cortical cleanup. And cortical cleanup is complete. And now SPMC again to fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber. The main wound is enlarged little bit because in this case I am going to implant a sensor multipiece intraocular lens. And here goes the lens. The leading haptic enters the cartis is turned clockwise so that the haptic doesn't hit the posterior capsule. The haptic goes in the equator and then the cartis is rotated anticlockwise so that the trailing haptic is placed rightly. And now I take a Macpherson's forceps and place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. 
And now is the time to clean the you know visco and then do posterior capsulectomy. I rotate okay the visco is being cleaned from behind the lens from in front of the lens uh, so that at this time we need not clean all the visco because lot of things are still to be done S most of the visco has come out but lot of visco molecules are still there in the in the epicapsular bag and anterior chamber and now i take the vitrectomy carter 23g irrigation from the right side above the lens aspiration and cutting goes below the lens and it goes at the center the cutting is downward towards vitreous cavity and i use uh, in this case the machine was faros so i used 3000 cuts per minute vacuum was 200 millimeter of mercury and a very nice opening is made little bit of anterior vitrectomy is done and before I remove the irrigating cannula I inject an air bubble but the air bubble does not want to stay so I inject again and again and a significant amount of air bubble is there this is moxie and now I close the side ports by corneal stromal hydration size of these side ports are about 1.2 millimeter at this time the patient was moving his head when the anesthetist is with you it is a big relief even if the patient is not cooperative we know that the anesthetist will manage so after closing the side ports this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time if there is no leakage from any wound if the wounds are very nicely sealed we can opt not to put suture see the post op pictures cornea is clear antechamber is quiet and the patient is doing very well thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence